This training is all about the diamonds sharing their experiences with all of you. And as I was working on doing this training, I began to realize that it shouldn't be a morning with the diamonds, it should be a day or a week or a month with the diamonds. They have so much they want to share with you. So many tips and so many ideas and so many experiences. However, time is precious. So it is a morning with the diamonds. Because who knows, one sentence, one idea, one gem could make the difference between where you are today and where you will be in the next 12, 18, 24 months. So we're going to hand over straight away and get into the day. And I'm going to hand you over to our very first speaker. What can I say about our first speaker? None other than my husband, John Curtis. John has over 30 years' experience in uh, the direct selling industry. And uh, during that period, about six years ago, he was awarded a very prestigious award, which was the DSA Award, for his contribution to the industry of direct selling. I think he's also one of the most respected trainers around the world. Thank you. You know, in, um, in thinking about this session and what we could share which would be of value, we thought it would be perhaps a good idea to think about some of the characteristics, some of the things that diamonds have in common, which perhaps if you want to be successful or more successful, you might be able to adopt. The first thing is that diamonds are very aware that they are investing in their personal account with Forever Living products. If you like, if you treat Forever as a bank and you have a personal account with Forever, then they make investments into that account. And I can't think of a better bank than Forever. It's certainly better than all those other ones we see that play around with people's money because we know this one is 100% secure. So what are we going to invest into the bank of forever? Well, the first thing is effort. And don't be under any delusions. All of the diamonds you will see have invested incredible amounts of effort into building a business. You know, they say nothing is for free. No such thing as a free lunch, and it's true. But you have to invest. If you don't invest, if you don't do something, you will get nothing back. And that's the 100% guarantee that Forever can give you. If you do nothing, you get nothing. If you do a little, you get a little. If you do a lot, you will get a lot. So effort is required. Time. Certainly, time will have been invested. In fact, diamonds make a practice of investing the time that other people say they can't make because it's important. And they practice. That's what diamonds do. They recognize the power of constructive practice. You know, they say for anybody to become totally competent at anything, it takes about 10,000 hours of practice. If you look at uh, Roger Federer, fantastic tennis player, yes. Thought that would rouse a, a word with a Swiss. Um, you know, one of the greatest players of all time. He put in about 10,000 hours of practice before he won his first championship. The other thing is focus. Certainly, you'll see extraordinary focus with people who are or will become diamonds. We'll talk about that in a minute. And they have a sense of urgency. They definitely have a sense of urgency. They know the clock is running. They know how precious time is. So you have to have a sense of urgency. The golden rule is do it now. So, we're going to invest in the Forever Bank. Let's have a look at the return. Money. Say it after me. Money. Money. There is nothing wrong with money. Yeah? It's the love of money that's wrong. You can do a lot of good with money. But it's very interesting. You'll find most of the diamonds are not motivated by money. They were at the beginning. It's an enormous motivator when you haven't got any, which is how most people come to forever with a need for money. And we can guarantee if you make the investment, yes, you will have an enormous return in terms of money. Recognition. That's the big motivator. 
That's the big, big motivator. A long time after the money has ceased to be of significance, diamonds are working for success. It's getting the result. It's getting the recognition for that success. Not because they revel in personal glory, but they revel in the recognition that their people will get as a result of that success. And they're going to get time. You know, we talk about putting time in. Diamonds never count the time they put in because they know they will get multiple percentages return back. You can have all the time in the world and the money to enjoy it, but you have to put the time in first to get that return. And lifestyle, incredible lifestyle. You know, what Jane and I enjoy, and most of these people you'll see this morning, is a lifestyle they never dreamed possible. They saw it in magazines. They saw it in the movies. They saw it on TV. It wasn't something that people like us, ordinary people, could ever aspire to. But these people have extraordinary lifestyles. And peace of mind. You know, if you feel that you are achieving something that's important to you, that you feel your life is moving forward, not that you're having a life of quiet desperation, that gives you peace of mind. You sleep well at night. Your food tastes better. The air smells fresher because you are being fulfilled. And then, of course, we gain understanding. You know, the more we do, the more we practice, if we're half-intelligent people, we begin to understand what this is all about. And the interesting thing is that we then reinvest that understanding back into the business. And guess what? When we have the practice with the, with the understanding, then we get a yield on that again. So fantastic returns from the Bank of Forever, which unlike a lot of banks around the world, Iceland can vouch for this, this bank will not let you down. This bank is forever. The other thing that diamonds display is an incredible power of focus. What do you see? Suddenly, you can see what lies behind the fuzzy image. But if you don't have a clear image, you'll never achieve what lies behind that fuzzy image. You know, we all need to display close focus, don't we? It all starts when we start with four CCs, 25 cc, 75 cc, 120 cc, developing managers, going senior, soaring, etc. The problem with close focus is if you only have that, if you're only looking at the next immediate task and not beyond it, very often people will lose sight mentally of what their ultimate goal is. The power of leadership, the power of leadership. They know where they're going. They have direction. And guess what? People will follow people who have a sense of direction because they then believe that that leader can take them on a journey to where they want to go. That gives people confidence. They inspire confidence. You know, for the distributors in a team, the confidence comes from the person who is leading what that gives the people in the team is safe, caring hands. All the diamonds here that I know take this duty of care very, very responsibly. You know, we're dealing with people like all of us who have families. We have houses. We have lifestyles. We have safety. We have security. And it's our job as leaders to hold that in our hands and provide safety. It's not a game. It's a business, and it's a very good business. And part of the responsibility that goes with the big returns is assuming leadership and being loyal. Being loyal. Being loyal to your upline, to your downline, being loyal to the company through the good times and the bad times. Because one thing we do know is people make mistakes Hey, is there anybody in the room who hasn't made a mistake? We all make mistakes. 
The key thing is if people are coming from a good place in their hearts and in their minds, in other words, if they meant to have a good outcome, then we have to learn to forgive and remain loyal. And I think loyalty is a key, key ingredient to leadership. The power of ABC. We will say this business is as simple as ABC. There's a power in a, B, C. A is for attitude. Some people you meet really do only brighten up a room when they leave it, don't they? Attitude is everything. I know people who've got all the skills, they've got a, a, a poor attitude. I know people where having a bad attitude, they've already got a great income, but their bad attitude is probably costing them 5,000 euros a month. That is a very expensive attitude. You've got to have a good attitude. You've got to have belief. Total, unshakable belief in what we are, what we do, and what we represent. You see, if you don't believe, they won't believe. So leaders have to display belief. Utter and total commitment to what we do, who we are, and what we represent. And it's that commitment, really, which is total. Total commitment, not half-hearted, not I'll sort of give you some help, not I sort of believe, not I sort of move this business forward. I am committed to success for you and all around you and all who come on this journey with me. That's a diamond attitude, commitment. And finally, I've got a very short session here. It's an attitude of failure is not an option, it's never an option. In anything we do, there is only one outcome to this journey, and that is success. Success. And if you develop those characteristics, I think you're going to have a wonderful journey with forever. And I wish you well on that journey.